Hey everyone, we're back again for uh, video number five on Build the Lusitania model ship series. So uh, this week we're going to be starting on the uh, upper deck um, and I'm going to be doing a lot of bridge details in this. Uh, I'll be putting some uh, crew inside and uh, the ship wheel and we're going to scratch build a wheelhouse. So um, stay tuned and uh, thank you very much for watching. Okay, we're going to get started on the boat deck. So, here is the boat deck. Uh, first thing that's going to happen is the scale decks will go on it. Um, I got it painted up on the white for up in the bridge area. And uh, basically, once that stuff is put together, we'll be painting some funnels and all that good stuff. I can't do the the promenade deck yet because I'm out of deck chairs and people so um, I did get the roof for the promenade deck done with uh, all the rafters on it so that was a little bit time consuming uh, but they look pretty good you won't really see them that much but they are mildly visible so anyway um, that is about it we're gonna get started on this and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put some scale decks on Okay, just like before, we just got to cut the decks out, get them ready, and we'll get them glued down. Again, I'll use the uh, Gorilla Wood Glue to hold it, and it should be pretty easy. I'm starting to get excited because um, I know once the boat deck goes on it really will start to look a lot more like the Lusitania and then just getting all the little details on there um, it's gonna be a lot of a lot of fun I really like I always liked the look of the Lusitania I thought it was a good-looking ship just a shame what happened to it um, not that any of the older ships are still around really aside from the Queen Mary the original Queen Mary but it still was quite quite a neat ship, and uh, it had a lot of a lot of very uh, opulent interior um, appointments. Okay, so we are broken free of that, and just going to kind of test fit it first. Yes, that looks like it will fit up there nice. So, I'm going to get that glued down. I'm also going to start to paint the red in these air intakes. Um, that's what color they were on Lusitania. They were a very interesting system for um, actually venting air in. They, they had a, uh, a cover that you'll see later that kind of looked like a garbage can lid, really. And... The idea was that as the ship was moving, the air would blow down into there, and that's how it provided air conditioning. Um, it didn't work very well, and uh, Lusitania was known for not having good uh, ventilation, which is one of the reasons why 90% of the passengers would leave the portholes open, and a good portion of the reason why the ship sunk as fast as it did um, after it was torpedoed. Because the, tor uh, because the portholes were all open. All right, we'll be back after we get glue done. Okay, it's been a day or two since I have worked on Lusitania. Um, just had some things going on. But anyway, I want to kind of show where we're at. Um, I'm starting to work on the bridge, and uh, I've been doing some painting, obviously, along the top deck. Got the uh, scale decks installed. Um, real happy. I like the brown, how it contrasts with the, uh, with the decks, and, uh, it should look really good. So, scale decks comes with the upper bridge area in wood. However, I'm going to show you a picture after this segment of what the bridge actually looked like, um, as shown on... Lusitania Grey Greyhound's Wake, which is uh, the new game that is going to be coming out here on Steam in the near future. So, 
in that video, it depicts kind of a grayish shade um, for the flooring. That was actually, when you look, at, look it up more, um, a uh, Facebook user, um, Jonas, provided me with uh, a floor plan, and it shows that they were actually a mat. Um, so what I'm going to do, I took the scale deck, I flipped it over, I painted it the gray, and then it had white seams in between it. So I'm still going to paint them white and make some seam lines that will go along here. Um, then I just basically take the deck from one side, upside down, put it on the other, and it will pretty much fit right in here. Um, and that should give me my bridge simulation pretty well. Um, once I get that on, I'll, uh, I'll share some more video on that. The next part also, I built the, the bridge housing, um, which is right here. Still got to do my detail work and my, um, my fences along the, uh, base here, but, uh, happy with the bridge. It looks good. I have it painted dark shade inside, but this side, or this, uh, particular room would not be bright. Um, they wanted to keep these rooms intentionally dark so you could see better out at night, kind of like when you're driving a car and, um, you can't, you can't see real well when you have a bright light shining in front of you or behind you. So what I will do is I will end up mounting a nano light, kind of like what we did for the navigational lights on the roof of the bridge area. And that's going to be a blue shade. Um, not positive that they actually were blue. I know there had to be some kind of lights in there, but uh, that's what we're going to do for our solution. The other thing that I plan on doing because you will be able to see into the bridge a little bit if you uh, if you go in and to look at it. Um, so you'll be able to see in there a little bit. You won't really be able to see much from the sides, but the front you definitely will be able to see. So I want to try to build some of the telegraphs and um, and instruments that would have would have been used um, in navigating the ship. So I have a few pieces left over from my Titanic um, photo etch brass when I had built that. And I will tell you one thing that I always try to do is save my photo etch brass because you never know when it's going to come in useful. So I have these pieces that were part of the lifeboat davits. Or, yeah, the lifeboat davits. And uh, I also have a ship's wheel um, in photo etch on another piece. So I'm going to work on building those parts and these capstan covers that would go on the top will make perfect uh, telegraph wheels and I should be able to make this look somewhat bridgeable. Then once I get the bridge built, the people that came along with it include this line of people which are all in blue and black and that is Lusitania crew. So I'll be able to put some officers in there steering and operating the ship. So I'm going to work on that and then we will be back. Okay, for the wheelhouse, this is an interior building that would be inside of the bridge. This is not going to be real visible, but I want it to be there anyhow. So what I'm going to do is, this is a piece of the railing that came with the kit. I will not be using railing because I'm using photo etch. So I'm going to repurpose this and build a wheelhouse out of it. And the front of it had a curve in it. This curve that is on the railing will actually be pretty perfect to what I need for a wheelhouse. So what I'm doing is cutting the rail and then I will glue it back together without the center. So we essentially are going to join these two pieces and they'll be right here. 
Then I'm going to make the windows for it out of styrene and paint it brown. Once it's painted, like I said, you won't really be able to see it from outside of the ship unless you look inside the uh, inside the windows of the bridge. And then there will be the ship's wheel, which I made out of uh, a wheel left over from Titanic and a piece of sprue. That will be right inside of the wheelhouse, right there. And I will have an officer steering. So once I get this all kind of put together, I'll come back and uh, show you what our end results look like. All right, so as I was working on the mat by the uh, bridge wings here, um, I realized I can't flip it upside down, so uh, they are actually cut differently. Um, you can see I got the uh, some of the instruments into the bridge up here. I got the wheelhouse built, um, and that was completely scratch built, but uh, it fits up right. But anyway, the flooring, going back to that with the bridge wings here, um, like I said, it was a gray, and it had white uh, white lines in between it. So found the best way to simulate that, at least for me, was going to be using some fencing. Um, I took pieces left over from Titanic, actually. And uh, I fit them onto that part, glued it down, and it seems to be pretty much making the part look, well, the, the deck looked the part. Um, just want to double check here which side I need to be gluing this side onto. It appears to be that one. No, maybe not. So we're going to put that down onto there. Yep, that will fit. Just need to trim along here. So I just use my little nippers. And there we go. That will fit into here at this point. And I just got to glue it down, so I'm not going to push it all the way in. But that will give me the look that I am looking for once we have our deck on there, or our, our bridge house on there. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So, I'll come back to you once, uh, once I get the other side on. And uh, we'll see how this actually looks. Oh, actually, no, I'll show you how I'm doing this real quick. So I'm taking a piece of uh, this fencing, rough cutting it to the length it needs to be. Dab it in a little bit of CA glue over here on my super clean and beautiful glue pad that I use here. And then I'm just dropping it down on there. Not really too worried about how it's shaped yet because I will then cut it with the nippers and uh, it will work pretty perfectly. Okay, a little bit more glue on here. Okay, sorry about that. The clock went off and didn't figure everybody wanted to hear it tolling. Okay, and I try to just barely overlap that. Oh. Okay. And we'll do the next one. Little glue again.
Okay. Just making sure they're lined up right. Voila. Okay. This really took me probably about three days to figure out how I was going to do this. It has been bugging me, and uh, I couldn't seem to figure out a good answer to this until I looked at this fencing and uh, realized it. It was just about the right size squares, and um, once I got it cut down on the first one, I really liked the effect, so... I get that they're raised up a little bit, but unless you're really looking this, this ship over with a microscope, I don't think anybody's going to notice. It is kind of unfortunate that um, there isn't a whole lot of aftermarket out there for this model. Um, I understand the model is kind of hard to find at this point, but uh, it is a nice kit, um, and I really like the overall detail and shapes that the kit has on it so again really kind of a shame that uh they stopped making it and a shame that there isn't much of an aftermarket for it the ship really had a important role in uh our history and the history of um the allies so I guess it kind of always has gotten overshadowed by Titanic. Um, but really, I mean, the fact is, almost as many people died on it. So, again, just like Titanic was another situation where people thought that uh, it would be impossible for a torpedo to sink it or for Lusitania not to be able to outrun a, uh, a U-boat. So kind of gets chalked up again to uh, human human error I guess you would say. All right almost done here then we just got to cut it down to shape. I'll be ready to glue these on to the bridge. All right, one more piece. Eh, that's crooked. There we go. Okay. Oh, in some other news, I did order a new camera stand and a microphone so hopefully that'll help with some of these uh voice voiceover issues that i've been having and uh i don't know i'm new to the whole recording of doing this type of stuff so i didn't realize how bad the audio was actually going to be until i really started watching the videos back but uh, hopefully that will help it a lot here and uh, make them a little bit more easier to follow and hear and uh, hopefully enjoy. All right, I'm going to cut this down and I'll be right back. Okay, we're just about ready to wrap up this video. So there you can see the, uh, the flooring is down for the bridge. I have some officers in here. I have... Uh, somebody steering back in the boathouse or the navigational house. I did drill a hole right there. Um, I'll have some light that will pass up from underneath. I'm gonna probably actually put some uh, tint over that because I don't want it to shine through quite as bright as it's gonna be. Um, then this will go down in through here, which will get wired up to the um, wires that are underneath and the bridge will get glued down pretty much like so. Now the other thing I did notice um, the 
reference photos I'm using show a small, probably about four foot section that is a little bit higher on here. So I'm gonna take a little piece of styrene and add it right off here coming off the bridge windows. Um, I'm guessing that's kind of a shield because there are two uh, tele teleometers or whatever they're called out here, one here and one over here. Uh, I made them just out of photo etch um, pieces that I had left over and they pretty much look the part for what I need. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the bridge. Let me go ahead and finish gluing that down and uh, I'll show you the finished product here in a minute. Okay, to wrap up our bridge, last thing I did, um, I put some acetate behind the window here, so there will be a glass look to it. And then I got my fiber optics in um, for the portholes on the side. I enlarged the hole just a little bit here in the back, and we're just going to feed this down into the deck. So that's going to go right down and through there. And all of these also just go right down into the lower level. And on the deck below, there is another hole, and they will pass right down into the bottom. One thing I almost just forgot was a touch of blue paint on our, uh, on our light in there, in the uh, bridge. So I'm going to put that on real fast. And it literally is just going to be a little dot of paint. Not much at all. We're going to put that right there on top of the bulb head for the LED nano light. And once that's illuminated, it will it will shine blue. Okay. So now we just got to put some glue on here. And for that, I'm just using standard model glue. And it dried shut. All right. And I'm going to run it along the wall. On both sides. And then run a little bit along the back here. right down on the deck. All right, we've got that. Now it's just a matter of fitting it down on to the deck, like so. And we're gonna clamp it overnight. One there. Put one here, and we'll put one right on the front there. All right, that is nice and solid, solidly down. Got the details I wanted on it, and it looks pretty good. Like I said, you won't really be able to see too much on the inside, so it's more about just knowing that it's in there. Um, you can see a little bit from the side window, so it's not completely a loss. Uh, last thing I'm going to do is add an extra person or two, um, crew-wise, onto, uh, onto the bridge area out, outside on the wings. So we're going to cut them off. And you got him doing a couple different things. You got one that's waving. I'm going to put him on the uh, bridge wing. You got one that uh, looks like he's cleaning. He has a little mop or scrub brush so he can clean the deck. And then I'm going to use a officer. I guess that could be Captain Turner maybe. I'll put him out there kind of doing instruction. So we'll put him up first. A little dab of glue. 
and he's gonna be right over here. It's a little bit more glue than I wanted. Oh, come on. Okay, and this glue, it dries clear and, uh, and flat, so you'll never see it. Okay, we're gonna have this guy here doing some mopping over on on the bridge wing. So he's gonna be right here. And this guy is going to be standing and operating the telemeter. enough glue that time. All right, so there he is. And one more. So as we conclude the video, if you like what you're seeing and if you are learning something, just uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you continue to get the content um, as I release it. I've been trying to stay pretty regular at uh, two videos a week. Um, that's just basically the pace that the ship has been going at. So, like I said, it's not always a guarantee that it'll be two a week. But um, that seems to be about the pace that I'm, I've been working, so... Anyway, um, let me just get this guy glued down here, and uh, we're pretty much going to wrap it up for this, this video. Alright. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.